America has absolutely no intention of repaying China. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakaha Kadash. A double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth that's constantly ruling well through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Shalom to the sincere brothers, the believers that's pushing this word wholeheartedly in truth and sincerity that's not wavering to the left nor to the right, but constantly standing on that straight and narrow fighting for your crowns, especially in these last days. That we are living in all right the name of the heavenly father's true name is yahweh and his beloved son's true name is yahweh shai those are the true names that you must believe upon and worship okay it's the brother i rock coming back with another lesson lord willing to feed and edify the lambs of the lord okay and uh the clip that i just recently played was a clip uh from the movie uh dragon day okay which uh depicts uh particular topics on um uh, emp attack okay uh the grid shutting down everything going back into the stone ages okay people being in disarray uh judgment taking place also a takeover all right um in the end of america as you know it all right even um as you see the, the person that had the bracelet on which that was uh symbolic for the uh the the mark the the m-a-r-k all right the c-h-i-p okay you know these um movies depict prophecy all right and that's that's the spirit that you know we come in is a spirit of prophecy all right because we are living in the last days and the prophecies let us know how much closer we are getting to the return of our lord and savior yahweh shah mashiach so with no further ado let me jump straight into a scripture okay before i even get that article all right because you know prophecy is important all right and this is what we have a sure word of is the prophecies okay um <clears throat> let me see this is uh second peters chapter 1 verse 6 verse 19 it says we have also a more sure word of prophecy all right we have a sure word of prophecy okay and as we come um in a spirit of prophecy we're coming in the spirit of our lord all right and savior yahweh shai hamashiach okay well unto ye do well that ye take heed okay and and who's supposed to be taking heed in these last days all right that'll be the elect okay 
and the the the, the sincere sisters all right, that are out there as well. Now is the time for you to take heed because what our salvation is near than what we believe. OK, we're getting close to the end. We're getting close to the time of trouble. We're getting close to the time all right, that the Lord spoke about since the days of the beginning. OK, which the prophets uh, um, have gotten the message through the Howard Kakadash, all right, to, to give that warning unto their people. I right? uh, we know our people is Jake, man, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, Seminole Indians. All right? And two thirds of our people will not take heed. But now is the time for the the the, the sincere brothers all right, and sisters to take heed unto this word. OK, it says unto a light that shineth in a dark place. All right? The dark place is Babylon the Great. All right. Unto, until the day dawn and the day star arise in your heart, all right? And, and, you know, these gooks, they believe that um, they're going to be the next power, okay, to uh, 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 come into rulership, okay? Because right now, who's ruling right now? Esau, Edom, okay? Esau, Edom, they're calling themselves uh, uh, Caucasians, uh, uh, self-proclaimed white people today, all right? But they're a uh, biblical nationality goes back to a man named Esau, all right, which his his people are the Edomites, all right? They are ruling today and they are the sons or the seed line of the wicked, okay? And these gooks, these so-called Chinese, all right, these Moabites think that they're going to be up next, okay? So this is what's going on in the news. I right? as of right now, experts uh China will use EMP weapons as part of military New Blix Creek strategy. All right? Now, when you read into this article, it says the Chinese military will employ electromagnetic pulse weapons that destroy electronics and could shut down an entire country in a flash as part of a new Blitz Creek strategy to quickly overwhelm opponents, according to experts who are familiar with the plan. And for the record, the EMP weapons are being developed with opposing the United States in mind. The risk of an EMP attack on the U.S. infrastructure is very high, particularly in this international envi environment. Sam Kessler, a geopolitical advisor at North Star Support Group, a multinational risk management firm, said recently, um, you can look into this, the Epoch Times report, Kessler's comments comes as Beijing is said to be developing a first strike nuclear capability after decades of officially adopting a no first use policy okay so so this is what they're talking about all right and a first strike nuclear basically means all right is uh, a preemptive nuclear strike attack on an enemy's nuclear arsenal that effectively prevents retaliation against the attacker so they want to uh, uh, uh attack first all right which this will which anytime that a person attacks of this magnitude this is what's going to incite what war all right and we're living in the times where world war three is uh brewing up all right and we're in a time to where uh that that mark okay is getting ready to be implemented and pushed even harder amongst the mass of the people all right for you to have to bend and comply to all right once they uh, 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 demolize, uh, it's not even a word, uh, force this demolition of this uh, economy, all right, and, and, and turn it to uh, nothing but a straight digital one, okay? <clears throat> Which we're in those dates, we're in those times, okay? We are in, we are definitely living in those times, all right? Now, before I continue, let me go over here because that's prophecy, all right? This is prophecy, all right? Um, let me go to the Apocrypha. All right, to Second Ezra, okay. Second Ezra is the uh, fifteenth chapter. All right, let me go over here. I'm gonna jump around in Second Ezra, fifteenth chapter. So bear with me. I'm gonna jump around a little bit. Okay, I wanna hit a couple points. This is uh, Second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse forty-three. It says, "And they shall go steadfastly unto Babylon." All right, what is Babylon uh, uh, today? All right, to Babylon today is America. All right, what does Babylon go back to? It goes back into Babal, which means confusion. All right, and this place is full of nothing but confusion. All right, we could talk about the 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 the, the moles, all right, the alphabet people, all right, the bestiality, okay, the mindset of the people, the uh, the uh, religions that people worship, all right, <clears throat> all the different gods of the different nations are all incorporated into America. All right, and there's a wicked vibration. All right, in a perverse spirit that is out here, okay? 
<clears throat> it says, um, and make her afraid. Then shall they shall come to her and besiege her. The star and all wrath shall they pour out upon her. Then shall the dust and smoke go up unto the heavens and all they that are about her shall bewail her. All right. So a part of major prophecy is that America is going to go up into what? Flames. All right. That's what America is going to do. It's going to go straight up into flames. All right. That's going to be the end of America. All right. And all those that have done business with America, all right, that have made money, that have gotten rich. Okay. They're going to bewail this place once they see this place in smokes um, because all those riches are going to come to naught. All right. And at the same time, as America is being uh, 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 destroyed, all right, by the ways of thermonuclear missiles, we're going to need Yahweh to come and rescue us. All right. These are future events that are getting ready to take place real soon. Okay. So let me jump down to verse 46. It says, And thou, Asia, thou art partakers of the hope of Babylon and art the glory of her person. Woe be unto thee, thou wretch, because thou hast made thyself like unto her. And has decked thy daughters in whoredom, that they might please and glory in thy lovers, which have always desired to commit whoredom with thee. Thou hast followed her that is hated in all her works and inventions, therefore, said the Most High. All right, so these gooks, they follow after the, the image, all right, or the ways of Babylon the Great, or the ways of America, okay? And they, they believe that they're uh, surpassing America right now. Right, when you look at the economy, when you look at how much they've um, technological uh, uh, advancements that they have um, pushed throughout their uh, society, all right, they're, they're ahead of America, all right? Not, um, which really, you know, the elites have used uh, China all right, um, and those uh, prominent cities all right, that people travel to, all right? Uh, uh, for nothing but uh, test runs to see how it will work, okay? So that way they can implement those same systems over here in America as well, okay? And you can look into all the different city uh, systems, all right, that's going on over there, okay? Um, I'm just going to try to keep this uh, sweet to the point, okay? Um, um, right, so let me go from there to, I'm going to come back to this. Let me go from there because in there, uh, it shows you that in that clip, it shows you that um, 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 they invaded, they invaded, okay, America, all right? And what is America known as in the scriptures? It's known as the what? The the the, the land of uh, unwalled village, all right? Let me see. This is Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 11. And thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. I will go to them that are at rest. All right. And majority of these people here in America, I, if an EMP attack was to uh, uh, occur right now, let's say right now, I, right, these people will lose their minds. All right. They will lose their minds. Okay. And this is from um, the Cascadian Risk. The U.S. is vulnerable to an electrical magnetic pulse attack. Okay, now I'm not going to read the whole article. You can read it on your own time. I just want to hit, hit the point um, going into right here. It says, without automobiles, food stocks at supermarkets would dry up. All right. And how do we know that? It's a quick, all it is is a quick Google. All right. I typed in how many days worth of food are at a store. Here's the magic number. Three days. Three for understanding, all right? Boy, you better get some, all right? Because <laughs> if you ain't got your how about Shemal Shai with you, you're going to be through out there, all right? You're going to be assed out like a wedgie, all right? You're going to be done, okay? Because what comes with that? All right, cannibalism, all right, uh, 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 um, looting, okay? Uh, things of that nature, okay? It says, let me read this right here. Simply put, food is one essential you need to live and your family must have a sufficient supply of food on hand to keep you fed should any emergency strike, okay? B 
Because of our just-in-time supply chain model, most grocery stores do not have more than three days worth of food stock. All right? So I ain't make this up. Okay, you can do a Google yourself and see how much food is um, actually within these stores. All right, so imagine uh, uh, something dramatic as an uh, EMP where all electronics is shut down. All right, um, your refrigerator doesn't work, things of that nature. All right, all hell is going to be breaking loose. Okay, these are the days that we're going to enter into. All right, the, the, the days of doom. Okay, um, let me read back into this article. It says, without automobiles, food stocks at supermarkets would dry up. And without refrigerators, food would begin to spoil. Seniors in nursing homes would go without necessary medicine, medication. All right? And you got to think about the people that are living on life support, people that need uh, uh, machines uh, in order to keep them alive. OK, it's going to be mass deaths that's going to take place out here on top of um, darkness. OK, it says looting would set in even those with the foresight to set aside food weapon and those with the foresight those are talking about the, the doomsday preppers all right but even the doomsday preppers it, it's not going to matter for them neither i right? really the doomsday preppers the uh uh, uh they probably they're gonna have a little bit to keep them hold them so over for for a short amount of time but really that food is for the elect okay you know the lord's gonna guide brothers all right and and, and, and a few sisters all right that, that are gonna be allowed to be saved all right to 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 get their hands on that to be pilgrims all right to be moving I right. location of location. I right. guided by angels. I right. protected. I right. trusted in the holy, uh, uh, the, the holy names. I right. it says uh, weapons or other provisions and preparations for a calamity would quickly find themselves under siege from those who had not made similar preparations. All right, and that's why the people that are at rest. Let me go back into that scripture. Okay, the people that are at rest, all right, which is a more, majority of you uh, Americans, okay, is going to catch you off guard, all right. And that's what that's what a, the American lifestyle has made you to be. Right? You've been watching too much fucking Cardi B, you've been watching too much uh, Nicki Minaj, you've been watching too much um, <clears throat> Will Smith. You know what I'm saying? And all these different distractions, you know, the playoffs, and you know what I'm saying, and all this bull crap, okay. And you've been living in a state of uh, comfort, all right, thinking that nothing is going to take place. Well, these are these are things that are going to take place. These are things that are going to happen. These are a, a foreshadow of things to come that they put in these movies. OK. Um, so it says, let me read that one more time. I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. I will go to them that are at rest, that dwell safely, all of them dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates. All right easy to invade right <clears throat> um what was another thing okay another thing was um another thing was the uh here it is you guys want to go back to um the food the, the i'm sorry not the food the um the the emp that's another point i want to make with the emp okay um all right because you know nothing is new under the sun as it was done once before it'll it'll be done again okay and this this took place this technology is not there's nothing new about this technology okay it just has been installed into the minds of these scientists in order for them to uh fulfill prophecy all right which uh the way they do a new uh um uh, uh emp attack is is by putting that kind of technology into a, a nuclear missile and letting it detonate in the atmosphere, okay, to shut off the electricity. But that's nothing new because it happened in a time during Egypt, all right, the darkness, okay. We're living in a modern day uh, um, um, Egypt, all right, or spiritual Egypt today, okay. Um, so let me see, where is it at? Where is it at? Here it is, right here. This is a uh, second episode of 15, verse 11. Matter of fact, I'm going to start at verse 10. It says, Behold, my people was led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. All right. So the, the Egypt, ancient Egypt, was smitten with plagues. Okay. And at that time, all of Israel was protected. Okay, 
None of the plagues befell the children of Israel during that time. But in the times that we are living in, only the elect will be shielded from these plagues that are going to be sent again. OK, because we're living in a time of uh, spiritual Egypt today. All right. Which is America. All right. Lord is saving America the best for last. OK. And I will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plagues and the punishment that the most high shall bring upon it. So you wonder who's getting ready to bring these plagues. All right. It's the heavenly father. All right. Through his son, Yahweh Shai. He's getting ready to send forth these plagues. All right. <clears throat> okay. And with these plagues, because I was speaking about the food. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Um, let me see. I'm going to type it in over here. Shall we eat on one arm? All right. mm. You know, I think I remember it's at the top. Let me see. Let's go over here to make a quick point. All right. We're going to go to book Jeremiah. Go to book of Jeremiah. To, I believe. Let me see. I think it's the 19th chapter. All right. Because when it comes down to the time of famine, Okay, because famine will take place. That's one of the plagues also that took that that uh, the Lord is going to send. All right, in this land. Okay, <clears throat> it's going to cause you to consider you eating your own children. All right, this is uh Jeremiah chapter 19, verse um, verse 8. Matter of fact, I'm gonna start at verse 7. It says, and I will make void the council of Judah and Jerusalem in this place, and I will cause them to fall by the sword before their enemies and by the hands of them that seek their lives. All right? you, you, you tribes out there don't know that um, the, the devil is getting ready to come down with great wrath. All right? A false flag is getting ready to take place. Okay. All right? uh, great sorrows all right, is getting ready to take place. Okay. Really, really, your enemy are these heathens, okay? And the Lord's going to use these heathens, all right, to 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 uh, bring out them swords, all right? Okay. <clears throat> and majority of people, you're going to be uh, um, trying to call on it on 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 God. You're going to be trying to you're going to be trying to call back on the Most High and His Son, all right? But the Lord's not going to hear your cries, okay? Because when you had the chance to repent, when you had the time to get yourself together. All right, you chose not to. All right, you you fanned the uh the 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 hand of the Lord away. All right, you pushed his hand away. All right, his hand was being reached out through who? Through the prophets. Okay, it says, and their carcasses will I give to be meat for the fowls of the heaven and for the beasts of the earth. All right, many bodies are gonna hit that flow. All right, like they got that song, let the bodies hit the flow. All right, and I will make this city desolate and in hissing. Everyone that passeth thereby shall be astonished and his because of all the plagues thereof. And I will cause them to eat the flesh of their sons and the flesh of their daughters, and they shall eat everyone the flesh of his friends. All right. So people are going to kill each other. Okay. People are going to kill their children. All right. In order to survive, it says, in the siege and straightness. All right. This straightness right here is straightness as S T R A I T. All right, which straight means a, a path of difficulty. So everybody's going to be in, in a, 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 a hard place. All right? Everybody's going to be in a situation where you ain't going to be able to get out of it. OK. <clears throat> it says we're with their enemies and they that seek their lives shall straighten them. All right. That's, that's what's in that clip that, that you, you could scroll back. All right. That's what was in that clip. All right. Everything went pretty much back to the Stone Age. All right. Um, they would, you know, they, 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 the, the shelves in the stores were empty. Some dude was uh, siphoning water out of a, a, a container. OK, you know, eventually the water is going to run out. The food is going to run out. All right. And then if uh, evasion take place, the, the enemies, they're going to they're going to they're going to put you in subjection. All right. Which we, we've been uh, bringing out about, you know, uh, martial law. All right, FEMA, all right, things of that nature, all right? <clears throat> um, there was another one I was thinking about, but it's all good. I'm going to go back, all right, go back to the seven address, okay, just to, for time's sake. All right, so uh, jumping down from here, second address, chapter 15, verse, um, I'm starting at verse 16. 
Matter of fact, you know, start at verse 16. It says, For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in the power and their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. All right. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. All right. And that's what's getting ready to take place. Great tribulation. All right. You know, that's what's going on in the news right now. They talk, this is what they're talking about, a, a EMP attack that all right, they get their, um, um, a possible first strike. They're adopting that into their uh, no first use policy. Okay. All right. And in and, and the Lord is putting the spirit on these other nations to 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 what hate the whore, all right, to hate this place, to hate America. Okay. All right. That's what that's really going back to. These other nations are starting to really hate uh, uh America. All right. You know what I'm saying? And and even right now, going on with Russia, okay, because now these other nations, okay, if, if in order for them to trade um oil, all right, with Russia, now they gotta do it by the uh by the ruble, okay. Which means if they don't do it, they don't jump on board, then uh, uh, they're not going to um, get any get any uh, oil sent to their country, which they need it. All right? Oil is a, is a very essential. OK. And um, those sanctions that the U.S. put all right, the West, the big bad West put on put on Russia is now has a, is having a major effect across those European countries right now. All right. So, you know, a lot is going on. OK, so. Um, uh, what else? There was another point that I wanted to make, but um, you know, that's pretty much. Uh, let me see the land of all all villages, the uh, the famine. All right, yeah. So that's that's pretty much the that's pretty much the point. All right, so um, we go over here to uh, Revelation chapter eighteen. All right, because overall, all right, it's gonna be prophecy. All right. All, all these events that are getting ready to take place, okay, is is for the Lord to return, all right? And as the Lord return, he's going to save all, right, all those that uh, believed on him, okay? Just like when Noah, when he got the warning from the Heavenly Father, all right, to prepare the ark, Noah got to work through the fear, okay? And that was a part of Noah's faith. Matter of fact, let me get that first. Before I continue to the, to that Revelation eighteen, okay, because all these things are gonna lead up to then. <clears throat> all right, um, all right. And it doesn't have to be everything doesn't have to be in particular order, but we 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 prophesy in part, all right, and we speak in part, all right. But but the, but the but these words are faithful and true, all right. These words are faithful and true, okay. You know, that's why you know we if it falls on deaf ears. You know, we don't care because it's only meant to go to those that sincerely believe, you know, through the Lord giving them the, the what the gift of faith. Let me check this. Ain't nobody on the comment board. All right, cool. All right, let me go back. I had, uh, yeah, I just lost my this is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. It says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that come to the most high must believe that he is and that he is rewarder of them that diligently seek him. All right. So as, as you keep seeking and serving your house by Shemel Shai, not wavering to the left nor to the right, there's a reward. All right. Salvation is a reward. Deliverance is a reward. All right. And we're trying to be rewarded of the Lord. That's why scripture say, let no man take thy crown. Okay. Because <clears throat> all those that don't believe, they're going to be what left behind. Okay. It says, by faith, Noah being warned of the Most High, of things not seen as of yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world. All right? And this world is condemned. This world is condemned. This world is getting ready to be destroyed real soon. Okay? And, and we're, we're patiently waiting. We're waiting for, for Yahweh by Shemal Shai to put the spirit on these uh uh kings of these other nations all right these heathens all right to, to to push that that button all right or for them to go to war all right and for that chip to be made mandatory all right we we only have a few more prophecies really that need to be fulfilled and then that's it okay the the, the prophets ain't gonna be on the street corners 
a, 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 a teaching forever until they turn, you know what I'm saying, 90 years old, full of, you know, gray hairs. I right? old. Nah. All right. We in those days. OK. Um, it says and become heirs of the righteousness, which is by faith. OK. So we'll go to Revelation 18. So Revelation chapter 18, I'm starting at verse 1. After these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mildly with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Okay, and this, this place, America, is full of demonic spirits, all right? And when it be destroyed, it's going to be full of uh, those those animals that are going to be only able to live in this land because nothing will be able to grow here. Nothing will be able to, um, no man, I'm going to say no man will be able to set up shop here. I right, in the land of America anymore. America is going to be completely wiped off a map. Okay. It's going to be left as a memorial. All right. <clears throat> for us to see, all right. Because, um, this has been one of the most wicked, uh, captivities that we have ever been in, right? <clears throat> it says, uh, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies, okay? And as you watch that clip, it show you that uh, when they was pulling back uh, one of the um, devices on the inside, everything was what made from China, right? Everything comes pretty much shipped over here. All right, to 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 America. All right, there's a whole lot of imports and exports going on. All right, <clears throat> and that's why right now America is pretty much suffering. All these businesses are pretty much uh, uh, declining because of the fact that uh, these ports, especially the Shanghai, all right, the ports of Shanghai, all right, uh, uh, they're not pushing out um, the product. That product that that um, at, at at the volume that they were pushing it out. No, I ain't. Everything is slowing down. Everything is is, is coming to a, a stop. Everything is coming to an end. OK. It says, and I heard another voice from the heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye that ye be not partakers of her sins. All right. So what is your mindset supposed to be on? All right. Fuck what you're dealing with or what you're going through. It's just supposed to be to serve the Lord. What is the whole duty of man? All right. That's why when, when you're having low days, low days. You think about the scriptures like, man, we ain't going to be here that long. We, this ain't our rest anyways. We're supposed to go through it. All right? we, 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 yeah, we trouble in the flesh, the flesh. We grieved. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? We have hope and we have the words and we have the spirit of Yahweh by Shema uh working through us all right? to keep us inspired, to keep going. All right? Never giving up. Okay? Be not partakers of her sins. Don't be like the rest of these people in this world. All right? You know what I'm saying? Thinking about going back into this uh, wicked ass world? Nah, fuck this place, man. And 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 what comes with it? All right? We want that new heaven, all right? And we want that new earth, which is going to be uh, um, renewed by the ways of what righteousness? Okay. It says in that ye receive not of her plagues, for her sins have reached unto heavens, and the Most High have remembered her iniquities. All right? the, the, the Lord has not forgot all the things that's going on. These people might think that they're in a good case scenario. They it, wait till it happens. All right? And we're going to watch. All right? And, and we're going to be calm, cool, and collective because we know that the Lord said that these things were going to take place. All right? While everybody out here losing their goddamn marbles. Okay? <clears throat> and they ain't going to be able to pick them up neither. <laughs> It says, reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works in the cup which she have filled, filled to her double. How much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her for she said in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. And I remember America has never been touched before. All right. But America will be touched. OK. It says, therefore, shall her plagues come in one day. Death and mourning, and famine, and she shall be utterly burnt with fire, for strong is the Lord power who judge of her, all right, so that's what's getting ready to take place, the Lord is going to bring forth these plagues, all right, and in one day, death, and mourning, and famine, 
and she shall be utterly burnt with fire for strong is the Lord power who judge her. I am most high getting ready to judge her. All right. Okay. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication, live deliciously with her, shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. All right. And as, as they're standing afar off, seeing the smoke of this place, all right, burning. Okay. The elect are going to be in those ships watching. All right. The, this place burn. Okay. It says, verse 10, standing afar off from the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. And it's only going to take one hour for America to fall, okay, and for Yahweh to come and redeem the elect. So, Lord, one this lesson was edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemab Shai. I want to say, Bakhtay Hawa, Bakhtay Al Shai, Bakhtay Hawa, Bakhtay Al Shai, Bakhtay Hawa, and Bakhtay Al Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Sanctations, and Hope for Him to the elect. And until next time, I'm going to say, Shalom.